All right, uh, Will Sianji here uh, with with L Divine, the, the, the newest and hottest thing out of Newcastle. Uh, how are you? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm not, I'm not too bad. I'm not too bad. Uh, okay. Uh, I think we should start off with with what's most recent. You've just recently dropped Naked Alone. Yeah. And uh, it's it's available for everyone to listen to on all the streaming services. And I just wanted to ask you, like, what what was it that 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 made you want? Because I, I remember reading that the, the song was supposed to be for some rappers. Yeah. Okay. But then. So, I mean, the, the song, I mean, I wasn't going to give the song away to a rap, but it was basically, I got in the studio with the producers in India and they basically played me a bunch of beats before we started the, the session. Because um, that's, like, that's kind of like what happens in the studio sessions, you'll get sometimes, so you'll start with just a few chords and totally start from scratch and then sometimes producers will be like, Hey, I've got a bunch of beats um, that we really like, do you want to see if you can write anything over them? And they basically played me like, Loads of um, kind of Scandi pop, um, almost like Robin esque, like really cool beats. But I, I felt like I kind of already done that with um, like some of my other stuff that I'd already put out. So I was like, "Have you got anything else? Have you got anything a bit weirder?" And they they said, "Yeah, we've got this like this funk jam, but we're kind of saving it for a rapper. We thought it would be better suited for like an urban artist." And I was like, "No, like let me hear it. I want I want to write over this one." And was then, it the fact that they said it was for a rapper that made you? Yeah, totally. I was like, I want to prove them wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I get that. That's, I get that. Yeah, uh, and then uh, that's what we did. So. And it's and it's a hit. <laughs> and uh, well, obviously, as most songs do, or most musicians do, they're expressing the experiences you've been through mm. in your life and and what have shaped you to be who you are today. Yeah. Uh, so my question for you is like, what have you learned from the things you've experienced in your life? Ooh, that's a big question. I mean, yeah, definitely all of my songs are written from personal experiences and I've learned that in terms of music, writing from personal experiences is kind of the best way to do it because I think now it's so important for listeners to um, to feel some like authenticity in the music that they're listening to and that's what people connect to the most. And, I found that like my songs like Peer Pressure and Daughter where they came from like really honest and personal um, places that those are the ones that the listeners have connected to the most and have came forward to me and said this song has helped me through so much and yeah. Thank yeah there's definitely, you, you, you've definitely got like a big influence in your fan base I'd say. I don't know, I don't know if you're aware but there's a, there's a girl called Gina G on YouTube. Okay. Who's made? Who's made like a for her media concert? She she made like a music video to your song, uh, Schoolgirl. No way! I didn't know yeah, that. I was, I'm gonna check it out. Was it good? Like, it was good. And like <laughs> when I watched it, what what I saw was like your fans are they're they're touched That's by the cool. music that you give. That's so sick! I didn't know that. I'm gonna check that out, Gina G. <laughs> but do, do, do you ever have like the intention of of like teaching to to younger generation or? Trying to like inspire younger girls. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I hope so, but I mean, I'm definitely not setting out. I don't think I'm setting out to do that because, as I say in my songs, I'm still figuring out shit all the time, and I'm like constantly being proved wrong by the world that I don't have it all together. But I mean, that's what that's what it's all about. That's what it drives me to keep writing songs. Is you know my learning experiences and yeah. <laughs> I remember you telling me just before we started recording how like. Like when, like when you, when you like focusing, you're writing songs like every day, mm. and it's like, do you go through things every day? Like, do you, I don't, like, and that's why, that's why nine out of ten times the songs are terrible. But like, if, if you write ten songs, nine of them are gonna be alright, and then one of them will be the one. the one. So that's that's why I write every day is so that I can like Have keep a good up reach. the average. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely, I definitely need to like. Remember, it take time to experience life and to, um, you know, have have stuff to write about. Um, but yeah, a song every day is the way. I like. That. I see you're a you're a busy woman. <laughs> you you try to do lots and lots like like peer pressure. You you made a short film 
to, 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 the, to some peer pressure. Yeah. And, uh, I'm curious, whose idea was it? Like, why go for a short film instead of just a standard music? I think nowadays people, like, people love to be able to watch something as well as listening to something and I think just for me it's always been super important to have visuals with one of my songs because I mean artists that I love always had like everything line up like I always say like artists like Christine McQueen she's an amazing artist and I think um, everything just adds up for her like the music is up there the visuals match that, the live shows match that, so it's just really important for me to kind of like showcase artistry in every aspect that you can. Um, and visuals, I just think it's super fun, like as soon as I listen to my songs I, I have like an idea in my head of what it looks like, so I just need to get it out. Alright, so like do you take a active role when it comes to... Yeah, I love it, I'm always made, I'm like obsessed with Pinterest, I always make mood boards on Pinterest and um, yeah, as soon as I'm writing the song, I'll see like colors and like ideas of what the music video should be like. Yeah, I love it. It's super fun. That's cool. Man. Would, you, would you, do you ever see yourself like maybe even directing your own music video? Yeah, I'd love to. As soon as people take me seriously enough to do that, I will definitely do it. I, I don't feel like I'm um, I'm good enough yet to direct my own video. I think in my head I'd love to do that, but I'd get I'd get to the studio or something. And I'd be like. Ah. I don't know what I'm doing, but I'd love to one day. I'm definitely like I've started coming up with like little treatments and stuff for videos, so I'm just step by step. You, 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 you pick it up as you go along. Yeah, exactly. That's good. Yeah. But, you know, yeah, you still like you you st you still got a lot to be proud of. Though. You know, like you got your show in London at Courtyard, sold out in 15 minutes. Yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's that's like Drake crazy. <laughs> like. I don't know. I don't know if Drake's playing the 200. Capacity venue, but like, no, but still, I mean, like, that's a pretty big capacity. 15 minutes, I'll take it definitely. No, 15 minutes, it's very impressive. Uh, <laughs> like, do you, do you feel like you're in the next stage of your life now? Like, you're in the, yeah, I mean, the, you know what I mean? Like, I just like, yeah, taking it step by step, but it is crazy. I need to, like, definitely take a step back and think, whoa, two years ago, if you told me I'd sell out a venue in like 15 minutes full of like people who are genuinely fans of my music and not like traveling to come see me I would have been like no way so it, it is like it's really surreal and um, but yeah I'm, I'm always on to the next move and thinking like thinking bigger every time so but it's really exciting I'm so I'm so happy about that I couldn't believe that it sold out that quick yeah that, that definitely must be like something that like because your dad's here with us I'm yeah. sure your parents are very very proud I think of, so. <laughs> of your accomplishments, son. I hope so. And you know, so I guess that leaves now. What is next for Um, What's next? I mean, I, I definitely want to um, concentrate on creating like the best live show for everyone. I'm really excited that I'm getting stuck into it now. I just did my third show at Big Weekend and that was so good. And yeah, I just want to get more into that and make the shows bigger and better. And then also new new music. I want to just keep releasing stuff. Um, I did those EPs and they were kind of like, it was like a year in between them both. And now I'm kind of like, okay, let's just release some songs so we can keep it going. Yeah. And keep putting stuff out. I'm so impatient. so. I'm always like itching to have these songs out. So I mean, that's good because because the last thing you want to be is like a one-hit wonder. <laughs> you gotta have the tunes coming through. Yeah, totally. You gotta stay consistent. You gotta stay consistent. I love it. I love it. And uh, I was I was shocked to learn as well earlier today. You and I we have a common hobby. Yeah. Yeah, you're a podcaster as well. We're a podcaster. Yeah. Got Um. Yeah, I'm currently working. I don't know if I'm like. I don't know if anyone knows it yet, but I am working on a podcast at the minute and um, which yeah it's really exciting I've never ever done it before but I'm just trying to you know try loads of new things and um, share more about my life and share more about yeah. people a close podcast, to me than, yeah. yeah what podcasts are it's been really fun it's been interesting I'm still learning though <laughs> still learning man you know if 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 we, if, uh, if the stars align one day maybe we can make we do a podcast, podcast together yeah. totally you need to think of a really interesting subject from yeah, let's do it. What's more interesting than El Divine? <laughs> Plenty of things. <laughs> but thank you, I appreciate that. So, uh, uh, one last question for you though. Yeah. I want to ask, because I wrote, when I was going through your Wikipedia, for research, not for stalking reasons, <laughs> uh, I, I, le I learned that you was a Stefan Don fan. Yeah, yeah, I am. Would you like to elaborate on that? <laughs> no, yeah, I love Stefan Don. 
Um, it's funny that Wikipedia page. I don't know where all those like quotes came from, but it's sick that it's, yeah, sick that it's weird that I have a Wikipedia page. I'm still like a bit like what the hell about that. But yeah, Stefan Dunn, she's sick. Um, I love her music. I saw her live at Wireless like, a few years ago, and like ever since I've been a fan of his stuff. Um, I actually met her in the studio a few years ago, and she was so cool, man. She was like, really, really nice. Um, but yeah, she's she's sick. She's a queen. Have, have you met like lots of people who you, like were your inspirations? Like, like music. Um, yeah, I guess so. Like you like bump into people in studios and stuff, and. It's it's surreal, but I never I always try and play it cool. Like I never want to like go up to someone and be like, oh, I love you so much. Um, but I mean, I, I should do that. I think there's no shame in doing that. I think most of the time as well, they appreciate people that come up to them and, and aren't playing it cool. And you know, I, yeah, I've definitely, but I've definitely met a few few inspirations, which is cool. You, 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 like who in particular? Well, at Big Weekend, I just met Charlie XCX at Big Weekend, and that was pretty cool. I've been wanting to introduce myself to her for a while, and that was amazing. Um, she was just as expected, super nice, super cool, and so supportive. It's good to hear that. Sometimes yeah. your heroes are your heroes. Yeah, 100%. I guess uh, on that note, we're, we're fully satisfied. Thank Great. you very much. Thank you so much.